Here at Maywood Boxing Club in Maywood, California, catching up with super featherweight fighter Charles Huerta. Charles, first of all, congratulations. You're getting that big fight, one of the biggest fights in your career, something that you've been wanting for a long time against Jojo Diaz, former Olympian, former uh, title contender on February 9th at Finals of Springs Casino. Your take on this fight? No, I mean, I'm real excited. It's finally, uh, you know, being Jojo, my buddy, but I mean, at the end of the day, business is business, but I'm glad um, I finally get opportunity to showcase my my talents to the world and show that I belong there with the, you know, world champions and contenders and I consider Jojo a world champion and I think he should be. Uh, did you see his last fight when he fought Jesus Rojas? He beat Jesus Rojas, he did not win the belt due of him missing the weight. Yeah. Your take on his performance that night, how he was able to beat someone, a tough fighter like Jesus Rojas? Um, I, was, I was there, I was, I was there at the weigh-ins, I seen uh, Jojo and, you know, he probably outgrew the weight class or who knows, but um. Jojo's talented, man. I mean, he's an Olympian. He's a world champion in my eyes, but um, he used his experience and his skills that day to beat a tough Rojas. Living friendship aside, you guys are professional fighters. You've known each other for such a long time. He's doing his homework in his gym, getting ready for this fight. You're doing the same thing as well. You are naturally the bigger fighter since you've been fighting 130 pounds longer than he has. He's making his 130 pound debut. Do you see an age a little bit to your advantage on fight night when, when you'll be fighting Jojo? Um, you know, yeah, yeah, I think I'll be the bigger guy that night. Uh, Jojo coming up from 26, but um, you know, our plan is just to go out there and be the best, best I can be that night and you know, go out there and try to shock the world. Let's talk a little bit about your injuries in the past. It's something that the whole sport of boxing knows about. Right after you fought Miguel Angel Gonzalez, you had an injury in your hand. Yeah. You had a surgery. You were scheduled to fight a couple times last year due to the fact that you had an Achilles tendon injury. That was another setback for you. How's everything going health-wise for Charles you know, Huerta? You know, health-wise right now, I feel I'm, I'm great right now. Finally, I, you know, I'm, I'm a little older now. I'm a little older, I'm not that young. I'm stretching more now. I'm not just jumping in there and warming up the way I should be. Um, a lot of people might think that it's an easy fight for JoJo because I haven't been active, but everybody knows I'm always in the gym. I'm always doing something. You know, fortunate to, I was on a good row after the Delgado fight, then I fought Gonzalez. I was on a good row and fortunate injuries happened in the sport. Um, hand surgery, then I had the Achilles injury. Um, I was fortunate not to rupture it, just a couple of fibers tore and, uh, you know, it took me a while to heal, but we took our time and I think um, we're, we're ready to go now. The whole rehab process. The rehab, yeah, we took our time and made sure, I took our time and made sure we're okay to come back. I wanted to come back a little sooner, but my dad and our team said, you know what, let's it's wait till this year. I wanted to try to go last November or December, but you know, I'm glad I'm waiting. Out of all the fighters at 130 pounds, Jojo's moving up at 100, from 126 to 130. You guys are good friends. How did you take the news knowing you were gonna fight a good friend of yours like Jojo Diaz? Um, I'm excited, I mean, excited. Um, I think uh, a lot of people, you know, friends are friends, but um, I think this fight will bring the best out of me and Jojo just because the competitive nature of it is, uh, you know, friends at, at the end of the day, but I think the, it's going to bring competitive out of each other. Just when we spar, we used to spar, um, you know, who can land that shot or try to, you know, try to get the best of each other because at the end of the day, it makes, it, it makes me and him better. Uh, will you be keeping a close eye on the main event? Uh, Alberto Machado is afraid in his world title belt against Andrew Cancio. You got to see up close Alberto Machado when he did a press conference here in your gym a couple of years ago. What do you think about Alberto Machado, the WBA Super Featherweight Champ? Yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah, well, I was barely coming back. He was here when he was going to fight Carlos Morales and we, we mingled a little bit, talked a little bit, and he became a world champion after fighting Carlos. Um, yeah, you know, I'm fighting the Southpaw, so he's a Southpaw, so yeah, of course we'll have eye on um, any of the world champions, um, but I think first, uh, my test is Jojo Diaz right now. Have you fought a Southpaw fighter before in your pro boxing career? Yes, I have. I fought a couple Southpaws early in my career. Um, not of late, but I had so many amateur fights where I didn't even know there were Southpaws until the fight started, so Southpaws ain't no problem for me. Jojo Diaz is well known that he's a very technical fighter. Uh, he's gonna try to put in some rounds with his boxing activity. You got the power to your advantage. How do you think he's gonna do his work in the er earlier in the fight? Because he's gonna come at you and try to work his combinations and try to land some of his combinations on you. Yeah, 
Um, right now it's just following our game plan, do what we're planning to do, um, and just stick to what I'm, I'm known to do. I'm gonna go in there and just fight my fight and um, see what they gotta do to adapt to me. Uh, why is it that at such a big fight like this one, you were just telling me a few minutes ago, anywhere else on any other venue, this could have been the main event. But due to the fact that Alberto Machado is a fan, and he's, this is a huge card. It'll be streamed on the zone, the new streaming service. You're gonna get your fans to Finance Springs Casino. Jojo is a big draw at Finance Springs Casino. He's fought several times. That this will be your second time fighting in that venue. Yeah. How do you think the fans will react once your fight starts? You know, um, no matter what, win, win, lose, or draw, I'm always a fan friendly style. I always come to bring it. Um, you know, I, my fans, they come. Paramount, Paramount will be in the house that night. Um, and then throughout Southern California, my fight fans, you know, I have a lot of fight fans that come and JoJo too, so I think we're I think we're filling that place up, and I think the fans will be there to in for a treat that night for me and JoJo. Um, I need to bring this up because it'll be almost 18 months since your last fight. Are you gonna be feeling a little bit of ring rust? Do you think on the fight? You know, uh, that's probably a lot of people think of why taking this fight. Maybe I should have took a tuna fight or anything, but just the opportunity's there. And in boxing, man, you you gotta take you gotta take some risks. And um, yeah, ideally we would like to have a couple tuna a tuna fight. Tuna fight one or two just to check out the hands and the Achilles, but just this opportunity, this chance came up you and um, you couldn't do it. Yeah, and that's the thing in boxing, man. You can't be afraid to take risks in the sport. And uh, you know, hopefully after this, we'll be looking up. The sky's the limit. I might this be fight. ranked after this fight. Yeah. So no matter what, we're taking this fight and uh, taking full advantage of it. Thank you for your time, Charles. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Super featherweight fighter Charles Huerta is taking on. Joseph Giorgio Diaz, this February 9th at Fantasy Springs Casino. It'll be live on that zone. Do not miss it. It's going to be a great fight. Thank you very much, Charles. Best of luck. Thank you. Cheers.